project table much. Yes, for the moment it is. I have a little project going on with this thing right now where I just put LEDs in the front end so that I can actually see what time it is in the dark. Because the, uh, the original configuration of that radio had a black light to light up the fluorescent numbers. So I thought that was really cool, but unfortunately, since I got this radio, it never worked, actually. And you can tell that the LEDs are actually AC powered right now. Here, I'll tell you. I'll even show you this little bit. Yeah, you can see the LEDs are AC powered. They are turning on and off 60 times a second. So, that's just great. The reason for that being is <laughs> there is... Well, besides the fact that line voltage is AC, there is no actual DC circuit in this radio, I, I figured out. Well, maybe a couple, but nothing relating to lighting or pretty much anything, really. It works. Yeah, it's got this neat little thing going on on the front. I've probably shown this thing before, but never quite like this. That's the motor that runs the clock. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, it's a flippy radio. It's cool. <laughs> That's why I got it. I actually got this back in Anchorage from a place that I was doing house sitting at. And I saw it in another room. It wasn't being used. It was dusty as heck. You couldn't even see the numbers on the front because this window here was so dusty. It was pretty bad. <laughs> and you can see the numbers through here, and all the buttons were absolutely disgusting. But you can see now, they, they look halfway decent. Yeah, I'm throwing them all. But they're looking alright right now. This one, <laughs> you couldn't tell that this thing was supposed to be silver by any means, but yeah, it looks pretty good now. But yeah, I uh, had the needles off and everything earlier. This cable comes over, wraps around a spool twice, comes over, wraps around a spool here three times, come over here, wrap around it four or five times, and then, uh-oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't get it back in the roller very well. I gotta pull that spring and pull that cable back through that roller. Or just pull this roller off again. Wouldn't be the first time tonight I've done that, either. Because <sighs> the spool got all twisted up. <clears throat> okay, we are at 98 right now, and whatever that number happens to be. So I'm just going to pull these off. They just come right off, just so easily. It's awesome. And then this whole thing comes off, and there you go. You can see the string wrapped around the spool. So that's just cool. And every time you got to change the channel or something, I'm not going to do that right now because I have it set where I want it. And, yeah, it does that. And, so. So my next project is going to be to put LEDs behind these, because these are supposed to have bulbs as well, but unfortunately they also were blown. So that wasn't going to work out very well for me in the long run. The black light was here, but the electronics that controlled it had exploded. So I, when I first got this thing, I just took the whole thing apart and cleaned it up and removed the black light and threw it out because I didn't figure I'd ever use it again. What I wanted to do with these is actually get some black light LEDs, some uh, uh, ultraviolet LEDs but I never actually did that so we're just running on blue for right now and I might still change them over to UV LEDs some other time but right now they'll be alright and this wire is new I actually soldered that in one connection there and one connection over here which actually yeah this one right here and this wire is new too. I had to do that because for some odd reason 
they didn't run the ground for this potentiometer to some place on the board. No, no, no. They ran this ground to this plate, which then connected over to this switch's uh, shroud, which connected to the board. So I just ran a wire from here over to where the shroud solders to the board. <laughs> Really, it's so simple. Why didn't they just do that in the first place, right? <clears throat> but if that wire wasn't there, there would be no <clears throat> volume control. It would just be always on, and that was just <laughs> not going to work. So anyway, yeah, this transformer here. Okay, the motor runs off a of straight 120 volts. It runs straight from these two wires that come in from the main line. And they go down to this board here, go through a couple of little coils, and then go out to the motor. And then, these, the red and the white wire go to the transformer. Yellow goes to a 20 volt tap there and there. And the blue goes to a 6.5 volt tap here and here. And the black wire comes out and actually solders here too. So, we've got blue, black, blue, yellow, and yellow. Yeah, well we got six and a half volts, so that's why this little resistor is here, because this wire is directly tapping the six and a half volt line here and there. Well, it's over here too, so yeah. The LEDs are actually running at about 2.4 volts right now, so that's just absolutely perfect for them. They're nominal, I think, at like three volts or something like that, but yeah. Needless to say, I got plenty of LEDs to work with, so uh, I wasn't going to worry about that too much. But now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this thing back together for right now, because as far as these front face LEDs go, I can get to them from underneath. So I'm just going to put the whole thing back together now and not worry about it until a later date, because I'm feeling like I just don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> We've been messing with this thing trying to get this motor to stay running because you unplug it. The motor stops, obviously, but when you plug it back in, it doesn't want to start right back up again. And that black line there was actually added by me a long time ago, too. So This darn thing doesn't want to stay running. And I don't understand it. It's like the windings are weak or something and I can't started up but once it gets started up it stays running pretty well I don't get it come on there we go yeah once it gets started it stays running but it's just getting it started I don't understand maybe some of you old tech guys might understand this and be able to provide me a little bit of insight but until then <laughs> yeah, this number is being held in place by this right now and once 56, 57, 58, and 59 go away this number will drop because right now it is not being held in by the top clip yeah good stuff we'll wait one more minute one more minute here No, we won't. <laughs> I'm lazy. Alright, I'm taking off. Very cool. It's all put back together now. You can actually see the alarm LED now. It's also blue, because I'm a blue psych. Awesome. Everything works. The motor is staying running for now. I doubt it'll stay running when I unplug it again, but. Oh well. <laughs> no big deal. It's all back together now. And yeah, that is what it is. It's a Panasonic. It is an RC7462. So, there you go. If anyone tell me how old this thing is, <laughs> that'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah, good stuff.